Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're gonna to be fixing up a faulty UPS unit. This is the CyberPower Soho Value Series and check it out. When it's on, there's a beautiful light. However, there's two problems with this uh, CyberPower. It's out of warranty. Number two, every, every cell nowadays, it starts to make a buzzing sound as if it's always constantly charging after a while. Right now it's not doing because I just turned it on, but after a while it does just constantly make a humming sound. There's two reasons why it might do that. One, it might be altering the voltage because you might have incorrect voltage coming in and it's correcting it to make it a nice level. The second reason is that it has a faulty battery and it's constantly trying to cycle it. And if I check the display, it says that it's currently 62% charged, so it should have battery inside it. If I leave it there, it will go up. It will go keep on charging. However, so I turned off the power just now. It tried switching to the battery backup mode and you saw that the light instantly came off. So there is a problem with this UPS unit and we're gonna fix it. First up, I'm gonna disconnect the power cable and switch it over to the side. If you haven't opened up one of these units before, it's hella fun just doing it because all you'll find is just a case with batteries inside it. So there's two screws at the bottom here. This case, you pull it like this and then you push it upwards because it has two tags here that might get damaged. You then pop it over to the side and then there's two screws here. This metal plate then comes off. And these are two battery cells. Well, it actually has six cells inside it, but there's two main batteries. So first I'll unplug the red and the black, and then I'll pull them out. And they're very heavy. Be careful when pulling them out, it might fall off. So as you can see, there's two battery units here and each of them are 12 volts. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my multimeter out. I'll switch it over to DC. I'm gonna go measure 12 volts. So I'm gonna switch it over to DC 20, just there. And put red on red and black on black. And what I'm seeing with this battery, we're getting 12.9 volts. So this battery is perfect. It's over 12 volts. 12.9 12 means it can charge up to 100%. Now I'm gonna go over to this battery and it's the opposite way around. And over here I'm seeing 10.8. So it looks like this battery is 100% good and this battery is the one that's letting the team down. Anything less than 12 means you got a dud battery. There is a way to actually repair this battery. If you go over to the world of, just do a YouTube search, how to fix a lead acid battery. What they do is they drill holes in to each cells and they top it up with distilled water and then somehow fixes it after a couple of weeks. But for me, the easiest method was just to go on eBay and just buy a replacement. So I've got a replacement one here shipped from eBay. This one is, uh, it was advertised as a Hitachi one. This is what it looks like on the front. HRCBHR1234WF2. The key thing to check is the statistics. It's standby use is 13.5 to 13.8 volts. When it's in use is 14.4 to 15, and its ampage is less than 2.7 amps. That's the initial current coming through. So you find a battery that matches those specifications, and, and hopefully one that is of the same size. So just take this cord out, which connects these two 12 volt batteries together inside. And you can see that in the middle of it is a bit of sticky tape. So just try to separate them apart without touching the connector points. It is 12 volts, so it's low voltage, but you know, why touch it when you don't have to? So I'm just wedging them between each other using a flathead screwdriver. There you go, unscrew. There is two batteries next to each other. So now this is my replacement one. I'm just gonna stick it to its side. It's pretty much exactly the same size as the other one. There you go, looks good. And I'm even gonna reuse the base. Also, just to make sure, I'm gonna test the new battery. So I'm getting 12.9 on the new one. Perfect, so this should just work. So I'll plug in the connector to both of them. And then I'll place it back into the box. So 
slots right in. Now, one of the benefits of doing it this way is that you can actually test and find out which battery is actually not operating. Because if you contact Slab Power directly, they'll just refer you to a retailer who's gonna tell you you're gonna need two of these batteries. And one of the batteries might be a good one, you might not need two, just one. And it's of course double the cost of getting it from eBay or Amazon or those kind of places, or your lo local batteries dealer. So red on red and black on black. Ooh, nice explosion there. Look at that, it turned on straight away. <laughs> so I turned it off. Clearly, it seems to be working now. Last thing to do is plug this piece in. Remember, down from the top first, and then punch it in from the bottom. And finally put the screws on the bottom, like it was before. <sighs> plug your UPS back into power. It's gonna go ahead and start charging it. So it's on. There you go, 86%, it's charging. And when I turn the power off, this time, it has successfully switched over to battery mode. And we've now officially breathed new life into this defunct UPS unit for only $20. Hope you found this video useful and enjoyed the show.